We are united in working, serving the consumers of our community, and celebrating together. We are the Western New York Independent Living Family of Agency. Let's open up our family album now and look back on the moments we remember of our 34th year of service. We begin with a night just like this on October 8th, 2013, at our annual meeting with guest speaker Robert Gumson, the head of Access VR Independent Living Unit. It was an engaging celebration of the work of our board, volunteers, and staff, while recognizing our members, supporters, and participants. As election 2013 approached, WNYIL, ILNC, and ILGR each hosted a Meet the Candidates Day with a wide range of memorable guests such as Ms. Lynn M. Mirinelli, Director of Intergovernmental Relations at Empire State Development. Mr. Stefan I. Mahalo, Erie County Controller. Marianne Klatzenberg, Genesee County Legislator in District 8. Greg Torrey, Genesee County Legislator in District 6. Andrew Tuma, Niagara Falls City Council. Kristen Grandinetti, Niagara Falls City Council. An up close and personal opportunity to raise issues with candidates for state and local government. As 2014 dawned, our family of agencies went on the road to our state capitol, carrying the banner of independence to our elected officials during New York Association of Independent Living Day. Our family of staff and volunteers helped raise the awareness of vital issues faced by New Yorkers with disabilities to the state constituency. ILGR hosted a town meeting on how to meet the needs of the homeless in the Genesee region. The meeting was attended by many faith-based leaders, community agencies, and some concerned citizens, about 50 in all. Discussion revolved around issues from how to define homelessness to does the region need a homeless shelter. It was agreed that the community needed to form a coalition to look at the homeless issue from all sides and to come up with a plan on how to best meet the needs of this population. The first regular meeting of the Genesee Community Homeless Coalition met on March 25th, 2014. On April 4th, 2014, we gathered at the Tuscarora Indian School in Lewiston for disability simulation, sharing with students ranging from pre-K through high school what it's like to have a disability. They learned interactively about sight impairment, hearing impairment with a sign language demonstration, and even how to use a wheelchair in an obstacle course. Mental health was also addressed as a hidden disability where the students showed compassion and understanding. The focus was kept on personal value and how we can overcome any obstacle. The children were so moved that they shared some thank you letters with us. Our favorite observed, I learned that people can have more than one disability and it's okay because it's okay to be different. After doing simulations for so long and having students guess his age wrong, 15 years older than he was, Todd has felt old on occasion. He still has spunk. This is what he did later in the year to prove it. Thanks to Adaptive Water Sports for this amazing opportunity. The Buffalo and Erie County Public Library held a senior outreach event on April 8th to provide information on programs that work with seniors and individuals with disabilities. We were there spreading education and awareness on Western New York independent living and the programs and services we provide in April, Mental Health Peer Connection went up the road to the Holiday Inn downtown for its sixth annual Policymaker Luncheon, featuring Assemblywoman Jane Corwin, an active contributor on the Mental Health Committee. Michelle Boyd, Vice President of HIV Services at Group Ministries, received the second annual Cheryl Davidson Humanitarian Award in memory of our dear family member who passed away last year. Dr. Michael Cummings, Executive Director of Behavioral Health at ECMC, was in attendance to support mental health peer connections, programs, and services. Genesee Community College hosted a veterans outreach event in Batavia on May 6th. Providers such as Genesee Council on Alcohol and Substance Abuse, JACASA, and Genesee County Department of Mental Health were on hand to provide vets with information regarding education, job opportunities, and support services. Successful policymaker events brought together political decision makers in the area who addressed issues of concern to the disability community. We participated in the annual DD Day outreach event at the Niagara Falls Conference and Event Center on May 22nd. Community partners came together 
to share resources on supporting individuals with developmental disabilities across the region. Our Night for Independence Gala at the Seneca Niagara Casino in Hotel La Niagara Falls was an elegant affair to benefit Independent Express and transportation for individuals with disabilities throughout Erie, Niagara, Genesee, Wyoming, and Orleans counties. Sponsors and partners in the Buffalo Bills alumni provided valuable memorabilia up for auction, and the jazz group Taylor May Jazz made it a night to remember amidst dinner and dancing to live music. The result was a significant contribution to keep Independence Express going along the roads of western New York. The 24th anniversary of the signing of the Americans with Disabilities Act was cause for celebrating under the sun and some rain. Several hundred consumers came to picnic in Niagara Falls, Tonawanda, and Batavia Parks on July 24th, 25th, and 28th, with Batavia weathering the storm. The turnout was the best yet in anticipating next year's landmark 25th anniversary plans for a huge event complete with fireworks along Buffalo's waterfront. The independent living of Niagara County hooked a great catch with the 9th annual fishing derby and barbecue on the first Sunday of August. It was a fine cast of captains who donated their time, anglers who competed for the prize-winning catch, and all those who attended the barbecue after the weigh-in. The Derby served as a great opportunity to bring together our family of agencies and raise awareness of ILNC programs and services. Our 2014 winners were... First place, Chester Sapinski and William Swagger. Second place, Dave Hanslian. Third place, James Uziak. The middle of August was time for the family of agencies to enjoy fun in the sun as part of the staff picnic. Alcott Beach was a setting for a great get-together with games and rides in the park, fishing along the water, and plenty of food and drink. Speaking of food, it was a feast in downtown Batavia on August 27th as ILGR hosted its inaugural Taste of Independence. The event brought together restaurants in the surrounding area who offered samplings of their signature dishes to an enthusiastic crowd. On September 24th and 25th, the second biannual Summit on Aging and Independence was held at the Niagara Falls Conference Center. A full slate of presenters and exhibitors enlightened a broad spectrum of attendees who provided care for their aging and people with disabilities. The summit was also the meeting place for ILNC's Policymaker Luncheon on September 24th. Assemblyman John Soretto provided the keynote address. The next day, New York Connects and the Niagara County Office of the Aging held a public hearing with New York State Senator George Maziars and the State Assemblywoman Jane Corwin. Vendor tables, health and wellness information, Care consultations for caregivers with the Alzheimer's staff and flu shots were offered to attendees. Independent Living of Niagara County helped to make this a completely accessible event, including large print and braille programs, an American Sign Language interpreter, and assisted listening devices. Amidst all the outreach events and services to the community, Independent Living unveils a new logo a fresh identity that captures the human side of the education, empowerment, and equality that is our mission. As a family, we are ready to go forth into a new year of celebrating the value of peer support. As we close our family album for now, we open new doors of opportunity for the Western New York Independent Living Family of Agencies. <laughs>